what is going on guys so i am well first on my way to get some gas but i just got word that my dealership got the 50th anniversary m1000 double r um so i'm on my way to go check that out I'm pretty excited for that. I've seen M1000s in person, obviously. I'm pretty, like, who hasn't yet? But a 50th anniversary, this is going to be my first time. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked about that. Stoked. Everyone just looks because this bike is obnoxiously loud. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> about the peasant fuel. That's my neighbor. <laughs> he is cold today. Oh, I'm excited to go see this M1000. I, I haven't seen a... F uh, honestly, I hated on the 50th anniversary at first. If y'all watch my Instagram story, I called it like really fucking ugly for what it is. Um... But to be honest, it grew on me. It low-key grew on me. I low-key like the 50th anniversary now. That lime green color, I haven't seen it in person, so I assume it looks really good in person, but I, I, it's just something about it, bro. Maybe I'm just a BMW fanboy and I just like, I just f completely dick ride the company, but <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised at that at all. But it's, honestly, it's a beautiful bike regardless. I saw the carbon on it from the picture that my guy from the dealership sent me, and it looks good. Oh, this always makes me nervous right here. This is the spot where I crashed that. So it always makes me nervous when there's like a lot of, a lot of traffic. I like stuff like this, I like blind spots. Well, I will say I am very cold right now. There's a wind gust and it is 55 degrees out in Connecticut right now. It is like, I forgot what day it is. It's September, September 23rd and it is 55 degrees out with a wind gust. I am freezing right now. Like it's to the point I'm turning on my hand warmers. <laughs> like I'm cold and I have my jacket on. I have my Nicky Boys toys pants on and I have thermals on underneath both of these and I'm still cold. Like, it's, it's bad. But I will check back in with you guys when I get closer to the dealership. I'm just trying to bang out this ride, listen to some music, and get my mind off of this coldness. Because this is horrendous, brother. Horrendous. So I'll check in with... Oh, the hand warmers kicked in. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. It feels so good. All right. I'll check in with you guys in like five minutes. Oh, this is usually the road that I do a pull on right here. Hopefully everyone moves over. That'd be great. I just want to do one pull. That's definitely not going to happen though, in a perfect world. In a perfect world. Oh my god, I'm so cold! <laughs> fuck! Bro, it was just like 80 degrees like two days ago. What the fuck? How did we change 30 in two days? Woo! He almost shot going right into me. the third in a wheelie bro what the fuck oh my god that is nuts ah! oh my god bro <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> oh my god wow something about the cold weather man what can I say <laughs> Turn off! There we go. Jesus, something about the cold weather, man. I swear to God.
All right, well, as you guys saw from the uh, from the footage I got inside the dealership, that bike is a fucking, it's a masterpiece. Like, I did not expect to like it as much as I did in person. Woo. I lost traction right there. It's not fully warm. It is not fully warm, that's for sure. Wow, right in front of a cog too. Gotta make sure he's not coming after me. All right, very good. Um, yeah, that bike is fucking beautiful. Um, if it wasn't sold, to be honest, to be honest, the bike is not quite in the budget. Wow. God damn, what is going on here? Tons of cops in this area. Um, the bike is not quite in the budget, but I would heavily consider trading this S1K for that 50th anniversary. Would I trade it for the M1000? Eh, if I found the right price. But as for that 50th Oh, my camera keeps cutting out. I'm not too sure what the issue is with it, but um, I forgot where I left off when my camera cut, but that bike is beautiful. Oh, I was saying uh, I would consider trading this S1K for the M1000 50th anniversary. I wouldn't trade it for the normal S or M1000, but I'd trade it for the 50th anniversary because I think it would have, it, it would appreciate or it would stay the same price. M1000, it would, I mean, I'm not going to say an M1000 would depreciate, but when you get a 50th anniversary, it's kind of like, it has some value to it. It has some meaning to it. Like the S1K, I mean, they're holding their value right now in the market because the bike market is absolutely insane. But like, they're not going to hold a 20, they're not going to hold an MSRP value, a sticker price value for life. I mean, that would be sick if they do, because then I could just make my money back on this and not lose anything. But you know, when you create a rare bike like that, like a 50th anniversary, just something special, they hold their value, and I'd 100% buy it. Um, would I make it hold its value? Probably not, because I'd put a fuck ton of miles on it, but, um, yeah, that's just my thoughts on the M1000, the 50th anniversary. I think it's a beautiful bike. Hopefully this vlog footage came out good. I tried out a new SD filter, or SD filter, wow! I tried out a new ND filter. And I'm just hoping it came out good. Maybe this is like an ego thing, but I like to do the most deviously reckless shit in front of student drivers because I like the 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 driver. See, I'm in second again. I keep forgetting I'm in GP shift, I guess. I like doing the most devious reckless shit in front of student drivers because I like the instructor to make a to make a lesson out of me. Oh, you gotta be careful of these guys. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I don't know, it's definitely an ego thing. I should probably stop doing it too. There he is. I know you want me, buddy. I know you want me. I know you want me, buddy. <laughs> Are they getting pulled over? Nah, don't do them like that. My man's is just trying to shop at Harkins. Don't do them like that. That's not cool. It was probably old Bertha and Betty out of the retirement home just trying to go shop at Harkins. And here comes Officer Dickface pulling them over on their shopping spree. What a dick. <laughs> what the fuck? Betty and Bertha. Oh my god, what is up with the police presence in this town today? Those aren't even East Windsor cops. I don't know why everyone's gonna try and pass. Uh, there, there's like, n there's no point. Why are you trying to get in front of him? You're gonna get trapped. Oh my God. Well, what's the point in that? Well, I found myself in a sticky situation here. Quiet down! Quiet down! You're being too loud! Oh god. Oh god. No! 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 Stop it! Stop it! Oh, thank god. Please don't come for me. 
I really thought I just uh, I just pushed limits right there. I was like, bro, I just made my exhaust pop. I can't even control it. See? I don't even have to do anything for the exhaust to pop. It just does it. She's poppy. She likes to talk. All right. Now I'm ending the vlog. Goodbye.